Greetings, people of YouTube. Wayne Hackman here, aka Waxstar, and I've got a very quick Waxstar workaround. If you're an iMovie user like me, and it's my go to very basic video editing package. I do use other video editors, but this is the one that I seem to come back to when I want to make a very quick movie. But recently I've been getting this blasted error saying sharing requires more memory to be available. It started appearing every now and then, and then this week it's just been coming up every time I've wanted to share a video. Now I've been on live and there's a couple of solutions out there that may or may not work. First one is go to terminal and type purge, that kind of freeze up any memory. That didn't work for me. The other one was to delete all of your, or delete all the unnecessary projects that you've been working on, which I did, and I've kind of been frustrated because there were some things there that I did want to go back to. But still, anyway, I have found the workaround, and the workaround is to do with this little package down here. This is iPhoto and I normally just when I plug my SD card device into it iPhoto pops up um, uh, and wants to download absolutely everything and it's been downloading photographs and videos and um, it's been fine that's what I've been using to manage my media except iPhoto does somehow talk to iMovie and recently I've had so many videos on my hard drive iMovie takes an age to load up all of those previews now I worked out into my little brain thinking this might be the issue but how do you disconnect iPhoto from talking to iMovie and the other way around well if you click on iPhoto in iPhoto you will find something that will resolve this problem your photos are stored in a library which you can call back at any time that you want to. You can see that there's my library, lots of nice pictures of all my friends and everything like that. But the first thing you need to do is you need to quit iMovie. So once it's loaded up, what you need to do is you need to change your library. And the way that you do that is you go to file and down comes this drop down memory, click on switch the library. And then what I did was I created another library. I called it temporary. Oh, I've spelt that incredibly badly wrong, um, but I did it very quickly. So you create a new library, you point iPhoto to that library. It will say, do you wish to restart or close down? And you say, yes, you close iPhoto down and you leave iPhoto closed and you go back to iMovie and when you open up iMovie, it won't download all of those millions of videos that you've got in your iPhoto library because it can no longer find them. And it should, firstly, speed up your system. Secondly, stop you from getting that blasted memory outage error. Um, and the great thing is that when you go back into iPhoto using the same process, you just change the library back to the original library and then iMovie will pop up and say, oh, do you want to do all the iPhoto thumbnails? And you go, later. No, I don't want iPhoto connecting to iMovie. Instead, I'll just copy the selected videos that I want from my iPhoto album onto my desktop, pull them into my iMovie project and hey presto the two pieces of software are no longer connected and you can use iMovie in that lightning speed fashion that was when it came out in the box if you have been watching i greatly appreciate it please rate subscribe and comment particularly if you found any other ways of solving this problem and as always have one on me